Welcome to this lightboarding session on how link clones work and how a recompose works for the link clones. So I've already have drawn up my gold master, which is your pristine, perfect uh, desktop, and I've taken my snapshot. Now in my gold VM, I actually have the composer piece installed as part of the agent. And we've shut down the virtual machine, we've taken our snapshot, and so now we're ready to build. Now, one of the things that's really important to understand is the snapshots are actually the building block for the replica. So one of the things that will happen is the combination of my snapshot and my parent VM will create our replica virtual machine that will be used to build my link clones. But here's something that a lot of people don't realize that the replica actually does as part of it. Because this replica is still the full size of the virtual machine. Now one of the things it does before it starts building any link clones is it creates a tiny little stub. And the stub is just enough for the replica to test to see can I create link clones or not. It's very tiny, it's about I think 16k in size. And so it tests that first, and if that fails, it will roll back and generate an error for the pool. But if it's successful at this, then I'll go ahead and create the link clones at that point. So we assume our stub is successful, our replica is successful. So now we'll build our link clones. And we start off with a link clone state of the environment. All right, so it's a link clone itself. We'll build it out. Um, according to whatever the requirements are. Um, and this includes any customization, say things like quick prep or sys prep. Once it's finished that and done the customization, etc., it'll then create what you might call as the active state or the user state. So this is where my end user uh, can log into. That's their active state. So this state here, We'll say this is saved, and this is their active state. So when the user does anything in that state, that's where the fluff, as I call it, will be added into. Now, if I want to get rid of that fluff, we'll do a refresh, right? And what the refresh essentially does is it is essentially a revert, if you will. So a snapshot revert that's done at this point. So all the changes the user had in there has gotten rid of. Now, in addition to this link clone state that we have, there are other disks that are added. And so we have, on top of that, we have the option of adding not only that disk, but let me, as an optional disk, we can add in our disposable disk. That's where the local profile and temporary files go to. And then in the case of dedicated pools, we can have our persistent disk. So that's where the stuff the user wants to keep is redirected into. And so we'll build multiples of the link clones depending upon how many users we have. Right? Fairly straightforward process. Remember that a persistent disk only exists for our dedicated pools. Now what if I want to update this? So how do we do that? Oh. Now that, if we go over here, remember our gold master image. Let's say it's patch Tuesday. We want to apply our patches. So we apply our patches and we create a new snapshot, and we'll call this snap2. And so we tell Composer, all right, it's time to recompose. And so what Composer will do is it will take our gold master and the snap, and then from that, it'll create a new replica. And what does our replica do? Of course, creates a little stub. 
to see, can I create a new link clone? Once that works, we then create our new link clone. And we'll actually delete these ones up here. And so we'll do our save state again when we customize it. And then create our location for our user to go into. Right? So at this point, this is our save quick prep or sysprep state. This is the active state for the user. And once that's done, we'll actually move these disks down to here. And so these disks will then be added at this point. It's a very straightforward process as far as all of this. Once these disks have been moved down and this link clone has been deleted, we'll then delete this replica to get rid of it and we don't need it anymore. And so our new environment resides here. Now one last thing of note. This disposable disks, the disposable disk, the content stays in there until we log off, and when we log off, contents are emptied. So at that point, we'll clear out the disposal disk and the contents inside it. So hopefully this has been helpful at showing you how our link clones work, how recompose works, and we'll see you the next time in our next Lightboard session.